Good morning children. Today we shall learn about air pressure. Take a glass and fill it completely with water. Now take a postcard and hold it tightly on the rim of the glass. Make sure there is no gap between the card and the rim of the glass for the air to enter. Now turn the glass upside down holding the postcard. Remove your hand. You will notice the card would stay at its place even after removing your hand. Why? Now we know the downward pressure of water must be pushing the card down. Then what is holding it? This means there must be an upward force which is acting against the water pressure. This upward pressure is the upward pressure of air. As we know, the earth is enveloped by atmosphere made of gases. So, the atmosphere also puts pressure on us. This pressure exerted by the air is known as atmospheric pressure. Thus, air is putting pressure on our body from every direction. As we know, the atmosphere extends up to many kilometers. Now, imagine the amount of pressure that the huge column of air must be exerting on us. Then, why can't we feel the pressure? This is because the pressure inside our bodies is also equal to the atmospheric pressure. So, it cancels the pressure from outside. Have you seen the plunger that is used to clean the clogged pipes? It has a rubber sucker. If you press it against a smooth surface, it will get stuck to it. How? Let us see. When you press the rubber cup against any surface, most of the air between the cup and the surface escapes out. There is very little air in the cup to fight the pressure of the atmosphere on the cup. The pressure of the atmosphere presses it against the surface. So, until the cup gets filled with enough air again to neutralize the atmospheric pressure, it stays stuck to the surface. Do you know how large is the atmospheric pressure? Once, a German scientist named Otto von Gerke joined two metallic hemispheres of 51 cm diameter each and pumped the air out of them. As there was almost no air inside to fight the external atmospheric pressure, the hemispheres got stuck together. He employed eight horses on each hemisphere to pull them apart, but the air pressure which was holding them together was stronger. It also proved that air applies pressure from all the direction. So, this must have given you idea how large the atmospheric pressure is. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.